Greetings YouTube. Farmer Sam Prepping here. Hope y'all are having a good day. I realize today that in past videos I've always talked about how important skills were. And that, you know, I've even said it before, skills have no weight. This is true. But I have never gone over what skills a prepper needs to have. So today I have a list of essential skills that preppers will need to survive. Some of these are going to seem like, you know, real, real easy, but uh, everything is a skill and you need to be able to master them. I'm not saying I have, but these are the skills that I'm learning. So right now I'm working on snaring, learning how to make snares, learning how to set snares. That's what I'm working on right now, personally. So uh, these are in no particular order, by the way. Uh, these are just in the order I wrote them down in. Uh, so they're not ranked by, you know, priority or nothing like that. Essential prepper skills. Number one, firecraft. Building a fire. A lot of y'all are going to go, yeah, I've got that one mastered. Do you have it mastered building a fire in the rain? Do you have it mastered building a fire when the conditions aren't good in the middle of a blizzard? Granted, it, you know, we don't have very many blizzards here in Alabama, but uh, you need to learn how to, you need to be able to start a fire in any condition. And, uh, and that's not an easily, that's not that's not easily done what I'm trying to say so uh, continue to learn your firecraft uh, continue uh, learning how to build fires in horrible weather uh, it's important creating potable water yes this is a skill you need to have if you don't have a portable filter or whatever purifier you need to know how to make one out of the raw materials available to you. Yes, you can do it. You may need some bandanas or, a, or a, just, you know, some t-shirts or whatever you got. But you can build a tripod. You can do the three-tier system. Do the grass and stuff and then do the... You need to be able to know how to do that, uh, you know, without a grill or without a Sawyer Mini. That's a skill. It is a skill. You need to know how to do it. Uh, and then even after that, a lot of times you still need to boil it. So it's very important. It's life sustaining important. Learning and using knots. Number three. Learning and using knots are very important. Uh, I don't know all the knots. I'd be lying if I said I did. Uh, there's about five that I use regularly. And with those five, I can do just about everything I want. Uh, I need to learn some more knots. There's no doubt about that. Uh, number four, building a temporary shelter. Let's say you have no tarps. Let's say you don't have a military poncho or whatever with you. You need to learn how to practice your skill of Making a debris uh, a debris shelter or something like that. Uh, there's also the different types of bushcraft shelters you can make. You know, just using logs and that kind of stuff. So we need to work on our building of temporary shelter skills. Uh, we need to learn how to do the debris uh, the debris hut and uh, that type of stuff. We need to we need to know how to do that stuff. Okay. Uh, number five, navigation, using a map and a compass. That's very important. Uh, you need to know how to orient a map. You need to learn how to, how, basically how to move with a map and compass and how to move in a straight line, moving from one point to another. That's what it's all about. And that's a, that's a skill. It, it has taken me some time to learn. Uh, so navigation is important number six snaring and trapping again that's what i'm working on right now don't have any traps to speak of uh but you know uh 
that's a that's something that's that's a lost art. It's trapping, using those Connor Bear traps, and I'm just guessing on some of these names of traps, but uh, these are just ones I've heard spoken about before because I don't know a lot about traps. I'm gonna be honest with you. That's where I'm lacking in the trapping and the snaring. So, trapping and snaring is very important. Hunting, uh, not only hunting uh, animals to eat, but hunting, procuring wild edibles, hunting, hunting for wild edibles you can eat. Uh, that's a skill I've been working on. I've got a book on it now, so I'm reading up on that. But uh, even just reading a book, a lot of times it does you no good. You got to go outside. You got to find those plants, see it with your eye. You know, it's very important. Fishing. Fishing is a skill. You don't just go out there and put a worm on a hook and catch fish. You, you know, I wish it was that easy, but it's not. Uh, fishing is a skill, and fishing is a skill you need to work on. Uh, you know, which lures work, or if you're going to lose, if you're going to use lures, which lures work best, or if you're just going to use live bait. Uh, fishing is a skill. Number nine, gardening. Gardening is a skill. You don't just plant a seed and something pops up. It's not that easy. I know I'm not the first one to say this, this stuff on all these skills, but it's so important to learn these skills. Having good equipment is good. Having good gear is awesome. But uh, you need to know the skills behind, behind everything. Uh, Bushcrafting is a skill. It's a, not a skill I know very well. Bushcrafting, being able to make the things you need out of the wild, uh, spoons and bowls and whatever. I mean, being able to take what's something that's in the wild and use it for something you need, that is a skill. I guarantee you it's a skill. So that's, that's my top 10 uh, essential prepper skills. Uh, something to think about y'all I'm still working on a lot of my skills uh, you know I have in no way mastered any of mine so something to ponder on today hope you're having a blessed day uh, we appreciate it if you'd hit the like and subscribe buttons uh, ring the bell if you want to that's up to you uh, and remember Romans 12 21 be not overcome with evil but overcome evil with good uh, and happy Veterans Day. This probably won't air on Veterans Day, but it's being filmed on Veterans Day. So happy Veterans Day to our vets. Uh, and with that, this is Farmer Son Prepping, and we'll check y'all later.